Hello and welcome to Open Dialogue. I'm Noel T. Manning II, and today we're going to explore a comic book series come to life thanks to Netflix. Sweet Tooth follows a time in the future, a post-apocalyptic time where humans and animals become one. These hybrids are not quite accepted by everyone out there. So today we're going to learn a little bit more about this story and about some of the characters behind the story from the Netflix original, Sweet Tooth. Christian and Nanzo, how are you? Very good. I'm great. Marvelous. Thank you so much for joining us right here on Open Dialogue. I truly, truly appreciate it. Uh, really excited about uh, Sweet Tooth uh, and, uh, and what you bring to it. And I would love to hear from both of you, how familiar were you with the original source material prior to uh, accepting and taking this on? And, and if you were not, did you go back and revisit that source material? Um, I read the comic books as soon as I figured out that I was gonna be playing the role of Gus and Sweet Tooth. And it was so thrilling reading the comic books and knowing that I was gonna be bringing that character to life on screen. So, you know, getting to portray Gus and bring him to life is such an honor. And I was so happy that I got to do that. Yeah, for me, I really felt like I, I wasn't familiar with it, with the comic book, with the graphic novel before I started filming. So when I got the part, I made sure I got some copies and, and started reading. And it was really helpful. It, really, it was really helpful. It was a much more... Um, darker kind of bloody world. I feel like Robert Downey Jr. and Susan Downey who produced the show, uh, Jim Mickle, the, our director and showrunner, um, and Jeff Lemire all intended to bring the essence of what the comic books gave us and, and make it more accessible for the whole family. And I think they really achieved that. Now, for each of you, do, do you find that you're more drawn to the characters or to the stories or both, and why? I think I'm drawn, I think for me, I'm drawn to, um, as an, for me as an actor, I'm drawn to the character. I'm drawn to yeah. the character and the character's experiences and, you know, for those kind of things. For the audience, I think they'll be drawn to a myriad of different things. One thing I like about the show is it has so many different aspects to it. You have the central um, relationship between Gus and Jeopard and then and their journey to what they have to achieve. And on the side, you also have the story about Wendy and Amy and them creating something um, that will hopefully protect hybrid children. And then on the other side, we have Dr. Singh played by a, a deal actor, fantastic actor who, who's looking for the cure for the sick, which is this um, disease that has wiped out two thirds of the world's population. And for me, there are so many different things that go through the system, almost like a spider gram, but all come together in the end and, and all yeah. kind of make sense. We're kind of wrapped around Christian and I as the central two characters. Um, so hopefully that that's what will attract a wide variety of people to watch this show because it just touches on so many different things. Yeah, and on that note, Nanzo, um, the message that I think people should be taking away from Sweet Tooth is hope and positivity and optimism because, you know, yeah. during dark times, like let's say COVID, you really do need that hope and optimism to get through those dark times. So yeah. that's that's what I think the takeaway is. Yeah. So what have the two of you learned from each other after spending this time together uh, on this journey? I've learned that kids can be smarter than you. <laughs> 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 I love it. Um, <laughs> I have learned that six foot six is bigger than I actually thought it was. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> well, I really appreciate uh, your time and talking about uh, about Sweet Tooth, this Netflix uh, original series, and uh, I, I'm excited to see what the audience will take out of this as well. And uh, are there any final thoughts or final comments you would like to make sure that people know either about your characters, about the story, uh, or about what they can experience with Sweet Tooth? 
think I would say yeah. that for, for the people at home um, is to just get ready for a thrill ride, um, something that will bring uh, your whole family into the same room and enjoy and be entertained by, and something that will speak to everyone in the family in a different way. Yeah. Yeah, um, Sweet Tooth's out today, so you can go and watch that with your family and have fun. Get a snack. Get a snack. <laughs> need a snack. <laughs> <laughs> and make sure it's a sweet snack, correct? <laughs> yes. Yes. Christian Nonzo, th <laughs> th thank you both so much. Yeah. <laughs> thank you. Thank you. Christian Combery and Nanzo Anzane, we appreciate you both for taking the time to chat with us right here on Open Dialogue about the Netflix original series, Sweet Tooth. It's well worth your time, and it is something that families may find some connections to. For Open Dialogue, I'm Noel T. Mays. <laughs>